Hi, I'm Tim from lapsandshutter.com and today we're going to cover the reasons why your Vizio TV has a half dark screen and all of the proven fixes for it. By the end of this video you should have an understanding of what's caused it and how to fix it. So the good news is that it is fixable at home although it is going to probably require a bit of work on your part. And the problem will either be seen as a black shadow on your Vizio TV, the top half of your screen is dark, or there'll be a dark band across your TV. This is most likely to be caused by a backlight issue, but first we'll go through the simpler fixes uh, to see if they work, um, as that will mean you don't have to go into to taking your TV apart and looking at the backlight. So the first step is just to power cycle your TV. So you just have to unplug it, uh, leave it for about 30 minutes unplugged. Make sure you hold down the physical power button on your TV for at least 15 seconds. This will drain any residual power from the capacitors. Then after about 30 minutes, plug it back in and switch it on. This might seem quite a basic step, but it's surprising how often power cycling your TV will help to fix any issues. You should also confirm that your wall socket is properly supplying power, uh, particularly surge protectors and um, extension cords can cause problems with um, fluctuations in voltage and current, and these can show up as inconsistencies with the backlight causing dark areas on your TV. So remove any surge protectors and extension cords and try plugging your TV into a different wall socket and seeing if that solves the issue. If not, and you're still seeing a dark area on, say, the, the top half of the screen, then this is almost certainly a backlight issue. Now, the backlights on, on modern Vizio TVs, they come in LED strips of varying lengths. Um, it used to be the case that the LED strips came in lengths that spanned the entire uh, width of the TV, but nowadays they tend to use a smaller length, say a 16-inch um, LED strip which is connected in series. With Vizio TVs the cold solder joints between these LED strips can often fail um, and these can, can easily be refixed if you're willing to resolder the joint but equally commonly the LED backlights themselves can fail due to repeated current overpowering which causes thermal degradation of the LEDs and learns, leads to burnout. So you can replace these failed LED strips quite easily, they're very cheap off eBay. The problem with this is that getting to the LEDs is actually the most difficult to access part of your TV. Um, so if you're not comfortable with a large repair job, then, then now's a, a good time to seek help from a professional. You'll need a, a multimeter and um, a screwdriver, but other than that, you should be able to do it all yourself. It is quite an involved job, so rather than go into it in this video, you should check out the linked article in this video's description which gives you a full rundown of what to do, or you can just go to lapsoftheshutter.com and search for Vizio TV and you'll find the article.